Hi guys, how you doing? Thanks for checking out my video. So today I wanted to make this video for all the naturally very skinny people out there who are trying to gain weight in a healthy way. I myself am a very naturally skinny person and I'm also very, very health conscious and I've always wanted to try and gain weight um, but in a healthy way. I never wanted to try and gain weight by just cramming in calories from junk food. Okay, It's very easy to do that. Obviously junk food is much, much higher in calories when you're comparing it to whole foods. Whole foods will always be lower in calories and it can be quite difficult sometimes for a lot of people to feel like they're eating healthy and trying to get in enough calories. So today what I wanted to do was take you through a list, a list of foods that I have incorporated into my nutrition for probably the last seven years. It's, these foods have been on pretty much every one of my shopping lists for the last seven years and these are the foods that I've used which are healthy but also high in calories and it's made it much easier for me to get the calories in in order to gain weight in a healthy way. Guys, you've got to understand as well that if you are a very naturally skinny person, it's really important that you're in a calorie surplus daily. Okay, so the best bit of advice I can give you with this is to actually track your calories. Keep track of your calories if you haven't done it before. Because if you are very naturally skinny, then the chances are that you're not eating enough foods. If you just try and eyeball the food that you're eating and try and increase your calories, you're gonna do one of two things. You're either gonna still stay short of where you need to be, or you're gonna massively overshoot which is not what you want to do as well because you're just going to accumulate more fat. So tracking your calories can be, and I've said it in previous videos, can be a really powerful thing that you can do to learn about calories that are in foods. You want to be in a daily surplus, surplus of two to 500 calories and make sure it's consistent. You can't be eating four or five days in a, in a surplus and then the next two or three days you're, you're dropping right down in, uh, and you're probably in a five, 600 deficit. It's about what you do accumulatively over time and, and, and an average of what you do over time. So it's really important that you average, your, your calorie average is, is in a surplus, okay? That's really important if you're trying to gain weight. So track your calories, get a good understanding of what you need to do and then you can, once you've tracked your calories for a while, then you can, you can eat more intuitively. But initially tracking your calories can be a really powerful thing and really help you out. Make sure you're in that surplus that you need to be in. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you the list of foods, healthy high calorie foods that I've used uh, and incorporated into my nutrition over the years that have really helped me stay in that calorie surplus that I talked about. Now, this is what's worked really well for me. Everybody has individual needs and tastes, so if there are foods on this list that, that you don't like or they don't agree with you, then obviously just switch them up for something else, but this is just to give you an idea of what I've done, okay? The first thing that I've always um, um, kept in my nutrition is, is eggs. I absolutely love eggs. I think they're great. They're a fantastic source of protein and healthy fats. They've got lots of vitamins and minerals. I know they get a bad rap from some people, but I believe from the research that I've seen that they're, they are really, really healthy and one of the healthiest foods that you can eat. So I've probably eaten maybe four to six eggs um, every day for the last seven years, and I have them every day for breakfast in, in different ways. So whatever, if you do like eggs, whatever way you like to have them, then, then that's what you should do. Um, the next food would be whole wheat pasta. I eat lots of whole wheat pasta because again, the calorie content, a small cup of whole wheat pasta, you're looking at about three to 400 calories. And the good thing about pasta is that you can just do so many different dishes um, with it. So it keeps, it keeps your meals interesting. Um, to stay consistent with, with everything with eating, it's got to be something that you enjoy, something that's consistent. So with pasta, I just find I can do lots and lots of different, um, different meals with it and it's, it's, it's great. And the, the calorie content, as said, is, is really high. Um, the next food that I've, I've turned to a lot is um, nut butter, so either peanut butter or almond butter. I use a lot of these, I tend to use them personally in smoothies, so I'd just put maybe one or two tablespoons depending on you know the calories that I wanted for that day. Um, I'd put them into the smoothies and blend them up with um, you know uh, the fruits and oats and protein powder, that type of thing, and make a good high calorie smoothie, which again was really easy to get the calories in. Nuts obviously being higher in fat, are obviously gonna have a higher calorie content as well. So I think a, a heap tablespoon of um, nut butter um, is around about 200 calories. So if you were to put two spoons of that into your smoothie, then all of a sudden you've increased that by three or 400 calories. So it's a really easy way of um, consuming more calories. Um, the next thing that's been um, a staple of my nutrition is oats. I've eaten lots of oats over the years. I tend to have it in different ways. I'll have them in um, smoothies, uh, as mentioned before. I'll have them just in bowls with, with either normal milk or almond milk if milk doesn't agree with you. And you can put, again, you can put your nut butter in there with protein powder and you've got a really good high calorie snack. Um, the next food that I've eaten a lot of over the years is steaks. So I do like a steak. I'll eat um, lots of ribeye, sirloin, whatever steak, doesn't matter. Again, because of the, the higher fat content in the steak. It's not a good thing I would say to eat 
all the time, but once or twice a week, I believe is absolutely fine. And again, higher calorie content because of the fat. And obviously with the, with the protein that you've got in the steak as well, this is gonna support your training really, really well. Um, with the next on the list for me would be um, potatoes. So either sweet potatoes or normal potatoes. Now the, the calories in normal potatoes are higher than sweet potatoes. So um, eating both is fine. Again, potatoes get a bad rap, but I believe they're, they're, they're perfectly healthy and absolutely fine to keep in a nutrition plan if you're trying to gain mass. And if you want to, you can even add some butter onto the potatoes just to increase the calories a little bit more, which is what I've done over the years and it works really well. The next food on the list would be dark chocolate. I've eaten quite a lot of dark chocolate over the years, again, because of the calorie content. It's very high in calories. I would tend to stick to 85% um, cacao. Obviously, the higher uh, the percentage, the better it is for you and the less sugar. So I, I would recommend, if you are gonna eat dark, uh, dark chocolate, to go higher um, with the percentage of cacao. Um, and again, it's, it has been proven to be really healthy for your blood and for your heart. So. Um, Dark chocolate has been a staple for me and it's one that I've probably eaten almost after every single meal, to be honest, over the years. Um, the next food on the list would be um, avocado. Again, extremely healthy and nutritious, um, but because of its uh, higher fat content and the calories are much, much higher as well. And I believe it's, it's, um, it's, it's a good food to have because it goes with so many different dishes and you can just put it on almost everything. It works well with everything. So if you do like avocado, then I highly recommend getting the men event very, very high in calories. The next food and staple for me over the years has been rice. Um, it's a standard sort of staple bodybuilding diet, uh, sorry, bodybuilding um, food. However, it's worked really well for me. Same as pasta, there's lots and lots of different dishes that you can do with it. Um, and I've just found it's just a, a very simple and easy um, food, uh, go-to food that I can use um, for um, getting the calories in. And as I said, it's one of those foods that you can easily just, just eat a lot of and, and, and get a lot of calories in in, in one meal. The next food would be salmon. Okay, I'm a, a huge fan of salmon. I've eaten a lot of it over the years. I do, I, I do appreciate that it is quite expensive. Um, especially, I would, I would recommend as well if you are going to eat salmon to go more for the, the sort of wild sockeye salmon. Um, you'll see that the color of it will determine the quality of it. So the lighter the salmon, usually the, the worse, the worse it is, and the darker it is, and the more sort of dark orange it is, the, the, the better and healthier it is. Okay, so I would tend to always maybe go more for the the wild um, sockeye or wild Alaskan salmon, it is healthier, it's really high in, in healthy fats, omega-3, um, ex extremely good for you. And again, because of the fat content in it, it's higher in calories, okay? Higher in calories than, than some other fish. The next on the list would be uh, walnuts. So walnuts is a, it's a fantastic um, snack to have. Again, a handful of walnuts is around about uh, between two and 300 calories, easy to eat, uh, and again, a really, um, healthy fats, you've got omega-3s, omega-6s, uh, and uh, as I said, because of the fat content, again, it's, it's much, much higher in calories. The next food and final food for me that I've, that I've stuck to over the years is, is alpin. I would go alpin, no sugar. Um, this has just been a go-to snack for me. It's a really good go-to snack for me. Um, whenever I'm hungry or in between meals, just as a, as a, a, a gap, as a filler, um, very easy to prepare, very easy uh, and quick and easy to eat. I would have my alpin probably with almond milk, um, and just put some, sprinkle some protein powder on there and you've got a really good sort of four, again, four to 500 calorie snack depending on the, the portion. Okay guys, so this has been the list of high calorie healthy foods that have been absolute staples in my nutrition over the, over the years that have really helped me stay consistently uh, in a surplus. The same as everything when it comes to fitness and nutrition, you want to try and keep the process as simple as possible so that you can be consistent and sustain it over time. So by incorporating foods such as these, it just makes that process much easier. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down below. And if you haven't already, please um, subscribe to the channel and show your support. Thanks guys.